I've always wanted a G-Wagon and not just any kind of G-Wagon, an AMG 63. I wanted the best G-Wagon there was. And so I had it on my phone as a wallpaper for maybe over a year. I had it there. Every time I looked at my phone, I'd pick it up. I'm like, I'd see the G-Wagon. I'm like, there it is looking at me, my car. You know, people put their cats, their dogs, their kids. And I I put, I put the things that I wanted to manifest. My subconscious would start getting programmed. Always wanted a G-Wagon. But I had no idea when and where it was going to come in. And at that time, they were scarce. They weren't sending any cars overseas. Nothing was happening. So I didn't even know how this was going to happen. Now, I'm going to tell you that I believed it so much. I had the faith. I acted and I expected as if it was coming. And guess what? It came here even faster than I ever could have imagined. Now, it sounds too good to be true, probably because many people can't put that concept together. She just thought it and it showed up. In this video, I'm gonna show you four steps that you can take to start manifesting right now to speed up the process so that you can have a quantum leap. So then it can go from like your phone to your garage or wherever it is that you're looking for very fast. If you're a woman who loves working on yourself and you desire more wealth and success in your life and you want to do it faster and you want to learn all the intricacies of how you can get there and have a system to follow, then subscribe to my channel and then you will get a notification every time I release a new video. And trust me, you're going to be waiting for these videos like you're waiting for that next episode to drop on your favorite show because the stuff that the information that I'm going to be giving, it's going to be gold. All right. We live in a masculine world and the only way to get is by doing, but not in my world. The women that are in my world are overachievers, high performers, women who know that they get to have it all. The women that are out there, when they say they're going to do something, they get it done. Many of them have advanced degrees. They're highly skilled professionals. They're the, the top leaders in their industries. They, they are, they are the ones to know, but when they come to me, they know something's missing, you know? All the success but yet there's this thing what is this thing that could be missing but they know it they feel it it's like this lack of fulfillment even with all the success there's something still not quite there yet Have you ever felt that way i know i did before i started in this work i was searching i was searching for that thing to fill me up inside now i am fulfilled in many ways of my life and it feels different when you're not and when you are when you're not feeling that fulfillment maybe because something is missing or maybe what you're labeling as a goal, you know, the thing that you think if you achieve it, it's going to make you feel better and you're going to have this fullness in you, but it's really something just to check off on your list as you're going by. I believe there's a difference between goals and desires and desires are something that comes from your soul. It's a thing like you can't explain why you feel this thing, why you desire this thing, why you want this thing, whatever it is. But a goal is something like, okay, well, I need to go achieve this. I need to run this race. I need to do this. I need to do that. And when you start checking them off, they're like, okay, what's next? But with a desire, you acquire that, you have that, you feel this satiate, satiating feeling like, oh, this feels good. Then you start feeling the feel, the feel of fulfillment. Ah, there's a difference. Stay tuned. I want to tell you more. All right, the next step is to ask yourself, what do you really want? Let's just say desire, because want is something that's lacking. Desire is fulfillment, right? It's the fullness. Now, many times though, when women start coming working with me, when I ask them what they desire, they're like, what do you mean? What do you mean, I, what do I desire? It's, they're looking for something that is not attainable yet because they're so used to going after the goals. So this is really important. Stay with me. So the questions I want you to ask yourself, what do you really want? And why do you want it? Or why don't you think you can't have it? When I started doing this work, I realized how closely our emotions were tied to the things that we were going after in life. Also, how much our stuck emotions were causing the, 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 the barrier for us to manifesting the things that we want. Uh, like what? And if that was true, then the opposite would be true. If we could get rid of those stuck emotions and the things that we want would come right in. Yeah, that's exactly how it worked. So crazy story. Once I started clearing my emotions, it was like sweep, 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 clear them out, heal them. Boom. The thing that I desired would start showing up. I mean, it literally sometimes happened like that it's really, really, really fast. And I was like, Oh, wait a minute. I'm onto something. And being the high achiever that I am, you can relate to this. When I saw something working, I'm like, well, let me try this again. And then I would do it bigger things. And then I would do it bigger things. And I, it wasn't as easy to say, just do it. I had to do the work. 
and then bigger and better opportunities, things that I wanted started showing up with lightning speed. So for example, in the beginning, I hadn't, I thought I hadn't thought of this friend in like four years. That day when I did some of this work, I thought of her. Sure enough, I got a text from her. I was like, are you kidding me? Another friend I hadn't spoken to maybe in a year and a half. I had a small little thought about her. She called me. Then I was thinking about getting a financial advisor. And I'm like, where do you start getting a financial advisor? Doorbell, door, doorbell rings the next day. And I'm like, okay, all right, this this is too this is happening too much to be like a coincidence. I've, I'm onto something here. I, I've got to figure this out. And in today's world, that was probably like 10 years ago, right? In today's world, when I know that I'm in full alignment and I'm in my emotional state, things happen like this. I was just talking to my daughter, you know, a couple days ago, we were talking about a gal on her team who she never texts. As we're having the conversation, the gal texts her. And then I was thinking about another person who was going to be, I thought would be perfect for one of our programs. They've been in my mind. They show up in my inbox and say, Hey, I'd like to pay you. I'm like, just like that. And so if you understand that once you remove the limit and the barrier, then you're allowing yourself like a clean slate to be like, okay, well, let me create now and desire the thing I want, right? There's nothing there holding me back from having the thing that I want. So step one, getting clarity around your desires. So we just for a recap, you want to know exactly what is this thing coming deep from your soul that you're like, Ooh, I want it just because I want it. Not because you need it, not because you can explain it, but it's just there. And you, you, it fills you up the thought about going to have it for me, going to Starbucks and getting this every day, something I desire and brings me joy. And so I'm not getting rid of it because it makes me happy. It's a desire. Having the G wagon is a desire. It's not something that I feel like, Oh, I can't explain that, but having the thing is going to make me feel good. That's what I want you to go into. It's not like go get your degree, make $10,000, wash your car. Those are goals, right? Or something. Well, the last one's probably a hobby, but you know what I'm saying? Like goals, right? Get married, da, 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 da. you know, those are goals. They're not like what's in your soul. That's what I want you to tap into. Okay. Number two, you got to start declaring it. Say it out loud. Make a declaration. Okay. What do I mean? Making a declaration is such a powerful thing. So June of 2020, I have a video by the way. So I remember I started making money in my business and I remember sitting on my couch on my birthday, June 11th. 2020 and you know we we're all in a little lockdown time and I remember saying this time next year I will have made a million dollars one last thing that I'm gonna declare right now is that this time next year I'm gonna be a millionaire it's just it's all happening for me the money's coming in the success everything's all lining up and I'm declaring it right now that Next time this year, or maybe sooner, I'm going to be a millionaire. I will become a millionaire, is what I said. I will become a millionaire. And I was so nervous saying it. I just cracked a bottle of champagne earlier, I think, for my birthday. And I remember being in that energy of like, this is like terrifying to say it, but at the same time, it felt like, yes, like this is what it was. I thought everybody who came into the online space made a million dollars. So guess what? I expected it. And then I had an emotional state to back it. There was nothing there telling me I couldn't because I'd done all this work. So guess what? June, 2021, a million dollars crossed my Stripe account. So you say, how, what? This is crazy. No, yes. So I didn't just sit there every day and say a million dollars, a million dollars. You know, obviously I did some work in my business, but I had the expectation. I made a declaration and I did a few other things. And then bam, it showed up. It's powerful to declare. Because when you declare, you're now saying, this is law right now. And many times people don't want to declare because they're afraid if they do and it doesn't work out, people are going to make fun of them. Or they're going to say something to them and they're going to have this disappointment. But if you're in the full energy of it's happening, guess what? It's happening. That's a declaration. And when you put fire on this, whoo! It comes even faster. The tricky part is not doubting it. You don't want to put resistance up to that declaration. So you kind of just have to state it, have it be like, oh, it's on its way energy and not sit there and go, well, where is it? I don't believe it's happening. I don't know if it's happening. Is it happening? I don't know. Uh, maybe I should come, maybe I should ask for less. Maybe I should pick a different thing. Maybe I should 
um, you know, stop trying to figure out how it's going to be, be done because you want to get out of that desperate energy, right? And just believe that it's on its way to you. Get this story. My son's friend kept asking, like, this is an example of, of not letting people get to you. My son's friend said, where's your mom's G-Wagon? She keeps talking about it. And I remember my son coming home to tell me about it. And I was like, what did that little thing say, you know? And he's like, yeah, he's like saying you keep talking about having one. And, you, you know, where is it? That could have taken me off my rocker and put me in a place of like, oh my gosh, it really isn't happening. I probably shouldn't say this anymore. I should stop expecting it. Like, if anything, it made me go into more like, it's on its way mode. And guess what? Uh, two months later, that baby was in my garage. So hold the faith on what's going to happen. What's the alternative? You don't, and then you don't have it. So hold it. Number three, identity shift. So you can't just make the declaration and then go sit on the couch and just expect it to drop out of the sky, right? And not do anything to kind of put it in that, in that direction. You want to start becoming the person who is having the desire that you're talking about, right? This person, you want to get into the identity of this new individual who does drive a G-Wagon, you know, is driving a G-Wagon, is acting this way so that you can start putting yourself into this place of expectation because you already are it energetically, right? So there's a frequency. So right now I'm no longer negotiating the things that I want. I just know they're on the way to me. All right, I'll tell you a story. So... Just recently, um, I was going to go back to Tips and Caicos over the holidays, but my daughter really wanted to go to Cancun. And I personally had, we've been there so many times, I was like, all right, let's go somewhere else. But she was concerned about the UV and, you know, how teenagers are. I decided to go against my desire of going to this place that I wanted to go to, Tips and Caicos. And it, you know, was, it had a hefty good price tag on it, but I was like, okay, yo, always no more is coming. Instead, I said, okay, we won't go. And then as soon as I said no, popped up at an availability of a resort to go to. By going there, a bunch of chaos ensued. And it was like, I don't want to say it was like the trip from hell because it was pretty amazing, but I, there were some logistical things that happened. And maybe there will be a video coming up where I'll talk about it. I still had a great time with my children, the time that we did have in feeling, you know, down there. But because I went against my desire, all of a sudden it was like, all these issues. I was like, I feel like it was Wonder Woman, like trying to like, you know, and if you're too young to know what Wonder Woman is, I'm sorry for you because she was a baddie. Um, but I literally was going against my own desire. And when you do that, you wreak havoc in your life. So this is why I always tell people, if you want to have that thing, and you don't give it to yourself, you are actually blocking the flow of the thing coming to you. So you might as well just go ahead and have it so you can feel that, that emotional connection of feeling your desires being met because then you actually speed up the process for other things to come into your life, right? Because you're like, more please, more please. You're in the receiving mode. You're in the expectation mode. You're in the, the place of everything's always coming to me, you know, energy, right? That frequency. So mom teaches it and mom has to learn to say no to the littles, right? And so I learned my lesson the hard way, but there's an easier way. You watch these videos and I'll show you, don't do that. <laughs> so ask yourself these things. Who do I need to become? And this is not fake it till you make it kind of thing, right? It's like, who do I need to become? What type of work do I need to get done in order for me to get into that emotional mastery place, right? Where I'm at. Also, honoring your boundaries, doing the healing work, and setting your standards really, really high, okay? Setting your standards really high and widening them. Like, so go for it all. What do you desire? Don't play it safe with this. Let's go big. So action steps you need to do so that you, now you can become the person who has the things that you desire. You know, what are, where is she eating? Where is she going? How is she dressing? You know, you're becoming this future self of yours right now, right? Because it's like, who has all of these things? So what actions do you need to do? I'll give you an example. So... I would love my own TV show. And this is where I, I would be the millionaire mentor going out there and coaching women and men, men, mentoring women on, on, you know, on live TV, like, or, or recorded TV, whatever. So I'm on TV quite frequently on the news as a wealth expert, financial advisor on many different networks. 
Is this my own TV show? Absolutely not. But when they asked me to come on there and we go on there, of course I'm going to go on there. Because I say I wanted to have my own TV show and I want to be on TV, so I might as well keep going on TV because now I'm telling the universe, hi, I'm coming on the live camera. Hi, I'm on TV. This is what I want. So I will get to that result quicker because I'm doing that. Make sense? Okay, and the last one is just be. Some days you do need a little Netflix chill down, you know, where you're just taking some time out to just be, where you're not in pure hustle mode, where you're not constantly doing for everybody else. It is so good to have these 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 downtimes so that you can recuperate, so that you can be in that, you know, stillness of who you are, because that's when you get super connected to your emotional state, to your feminine energy, to the quietness, because that's the strength there. Okay. Number four, how manifestations get stuck. The moment manifestations get stuck is when we're not in alignment. When we start doubting ourselves, we start creating resistance around it. And then all of a sudden they're not showing up for us. And we start questioning, can we really have it? We start getting desperate. Where is it? How is it coming here? We start asking the questions. We start doing things to try and make it speed up when we're not allowing it to just come to us because we're using our manifestation skills and we take an action. We're trying to force it to come along and then we're actually pushing it away. So that's how they can get stuck. So remember what you focus on grows. So the more that you focus on the faith and the belief that it's going to come in and it's on its way, expectation, 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 then it will. And you're going to be in the state of, well, it's here. It's, it's on its way to me. It's on, it's coming. I already have it. It's done. It takes a lot of conviction and confidence to get to this level. So you don't let your little self doubt you out of what you want to have in life, right? So you just got to get into that frequency and vibration. Of course it's coming. Of course I can do this. Of course, I mean, of course I can have this. Of course it's on its way. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's done. It's happening. It's happening is another saying I love saying it's happening. And remember, you cannot operate from desperation or lack because it's just not going to work. So looking for it means you don't have it. And being desperate, when is it going to come, means you don't have it. You will manifest and create more of that energy instead. We don't want that. No. So quantum leaping really comes from the energy you're oscillating from so that you can get in alignment with it. So you can say, here I am. I'm in this frequency. And guess what? Come match me. Come match me. So when I said I wanted to have a million, be a million, multi, um, be a millionaire in a year, I started acting like a millionaire right now because uh, I knew the money was coming. So I was just getting ready for it. So let's go, right? So how does a millionaire act? Every time I did something, this is what a millionaire does. This is how a millionaire lives. Is this how a millionaire, you know, uh, cleans her room? You know, where does she eat? What does she do? I started getting into as much as I could with what I had, right? And I'd get into that state of. So of course the expectation would be there, right? And we don't want our patterns and programs to sabotage us and stop it from, from coming to us. So this is why we have to do the work so that we can get our things that we want or desires to come in faster and have that quantum leap because it's there. We'll collapse time when we do this. It'll show up like that. When, when you think about somebody and all of a sudden they start calling you, you have opportunities that are coming in. It will start happening with clients. It'll start happening with people that can open doors for you. You you'll get be invited to certain events. Someone who who you know you did something for in the past will come up. I just got a text today from someone that said, you know what? Thank you for giving me my big break. I want to I want to give back to you and create something for you, and um, for free. And so this is how it works, right? So get into that state. I have a journaling program that is amazing. I've taken all types of healing things, blah, blah, blah. And I came up with my own process. I came up with my process because I was really stubborn with my beliefs. I'm not going to lie. The things that were in my head, I was living them, living them. And I'm like, we need to get to something new. So I came up with a journaling process that gets to help you identify exactly what's in the way, how you can move through it and how you can reprogram it to have those declarations daily. What do you do next? This is the process I use to manifest the G-Wagon. And I'm telling you right now that when you are in this state of, and you know that that pen, this pen and journal, by the way, this like you get your pen and journal, a little quantum woman uh, shop, you can get this, but you get your journal and you're writing them down. I'm going to show you. It's not just a matter of when people come in the world, like I've been journaling for years. I've been journaling for years. And then when they journal my way, they're like, oh, this is what you mean by journaling. Yes. Cause then this pen becomes a magic wand. Okay, what do I want to create today? Let me go to my journal. What, how do I want to feel today? Let me go to my journal. Click the link in the description and get this journaling program. How do I manifest in my G-Wagon? I'll tell you. I had it on my phone because I believe that our subconscious is always being programmed, right? So when we look at things over and over again, we will start subconsciously programming our, our, our minds to this is ours already. 
Now, if you think about how many times you pick up your phone in a day and you look at it, even to open it up with your face or put it in the code, you're constantly looking at the same vision, the same thing over and over again. I love my children, but I see them every day. I want to program my subconscious. So I'm going to put down the things that I want that are on my phone so that I can program my, my subconscious that way. Now, I had the G-Wagon of my dreams on my phone for the year, right? But let me take it one step further. Just doing that was one thing. I declared it to the world. I told everybody that I was buying one. Everybody knew about it. My clients were sending me pictures of different G-Wagons and standing beside them saying, hey, we saw your car. We saw your car. It was like everybody was you know, in on it with me because I talked about it so much that it was happening, right? And then my uh, my mom, people, everybody was all rooting for me. Like They were like, oh, she's her g wagon They talked about it as if it was already there. Her G-Wagon, my G-Wagon. It was just like, kind of like a thing, you know? Whatever, it was happening. There, you know, whatever. Anyway, my car was in the, my current my, my old car was in the shop and they gave me a loaner in the shop from Toyota. And it was a hybrid. Highlander thing, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I remember driving this car and I remember thinking, gosh, like what would it feel like when I would be driving my G-Wagon? And so I remember making turns, and I had never been in a G-Wagon before, by the way. I remember taking turns and saying, ooh, this is what it would feel like driving my G-Wagon. And I was sitting there and I was simulating me driving a G-Wagon that I'd never been in before. So you don't have to be in one, but it does help to kind of get the, to move it along a little faster. But because I'm so advanced in doing this, I was doing it in the state. I started feeling it. I started believing it. I will never forget the moment that I made that left on this road because it was so connected to the desired state of having it that through the vision, through the subconscious, through the writing of it down, through the declaration of it, and then also feeling it, it was bound to happen. I had expected it. It was mine. It was Shamina's G-Wagon. So this is how I did it. And then you say, well, you got to have the money to do it. Listen, the desires lead, the things that you want lead, and the money follows. So of course the money has come out. It's, the money has come many times over for me to pay for this vehicle. Okay. So I had the money to pay for it and I paid a pot of cash and then the money came in again. The money's coming again. Every time I get in that vehicle, I feel like the wealthiest woman. So for me, it was just one of those manifestations that reminds me every day. Guess what? It's a big one. It's not like $10 or, you know, getting a free walk. It's like you get what you, what you expect, whatever your desires are. If you're emotionally connected to it, baby, it's on its way to you. So don't you dare doubt the system because it works. And that's what I want you to feel when you're watching these videos with me. I want you to come along with this frequency because guess what? It's on its way to you. It's happening. All right.